know, we didn't wake up that morning planning to leave the, the house. So we had 70 people by the end of the day. People we knew, people we didn't know, friends of friends of friends. You know, how do you make that kind of a phone call? And uh, God provided uh, help there. And the church came out and helped with the bagging. And then later on, uh, on the May long weekend, when we came back, then they started helping with the cleanup. One family came out from Quebec twice, like first the whole family, and then the dad and the son wanted to come back again. One, one group from uh, women and some women from uh, Montreal came out. We want one big project, and we hadn't even touched the pool yet. This was like August, and you could just imagine what it looked like. And so they waded in there and cleaned up all the straw and all this, and they went at it. And, you know, so that was very, very heartwarming um, to see people that you don't know um, at all come out and, and want to lend a hand. And there was there was a lot of people that helped at Vic and Terry's. There, yeah, and I guess there was people coming and going all the time. Like certain people would come and help for a day, then they'd be gone doing something else. Other people would come in, but it was it was really neat to see how much support there was for people that had trouble like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really brought the congregation together. Mm -hmm. We did have a, a friend move into our basement. They were from Sinodal. And there are two boys. They moved into the, our basement for a bit. and But then all of a sudden, we were told that we had to evacuate as well. There was so much help, actually, from Hutterites to school children to, uh, like I said, MDS that came to help us. When our church was impacted by the flood, everybody sort of had to go in their separate ways, but we still wanted to worship together. And I remember there was one church, and I can't think of the name of it right now, but there was one church that took our church family in, and we gathered there and worshiped with them. We, um, they kind of adopted us into their family for a little while because we couldn't gather to worship in Glenlee. And uh, that was really quite special.